In today's episode of Minecraft, OK Queen gets adopted by Mirabel Madrigal from Encanto and becomes Ruthbell Madrigal. Now Ruthbell has to save their casita and family from being destroyed. Will she be able to save the family? Watch to the end to find out. Um. Oh, yay, I'm here! Welcome to the family, Madrigal! Home to the family, Madrigal! Ah, it's so nice to be here in the casita and living, honestly! Um, so tired! Ah, so this is what it's like to wake up in the morning in casita! Ah, it's so amazing! Hmm, let me check the time right now! Oh, it's only 6 a.m. Hmm, why did I wake up so early today? Rise and shine, my little sweetheart! Huh? Who is it? Hmm? Who is it? Oh, Mirabel! Huh? Mirabel, why are you doing here so early? Well, I just wanted to wake up our newest member of the family, Ruthbel Madrigal. Oh, you're so sweet, Mirabel. Anyways, Ruthbel, follow me. Today I'm gonna take you along and you're gonna experience what it's like living a day in my life in my shoes. Huh? Really? That's so cool! Okay, come on, let's go! Alright, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I'm so excited! Come on, Rithel, we're gonna have so much fun today. Okay, okay, okay. I can't wait. I'm kind of hungry for breakfast too. Okay, Rithel. So every morning, I like to prepare breakfast and make sure that everything is up and running before everyone else comes into the house and or wakes up. Wow, you do everything by yourself, Mirabel. That's so hard working. That's why, Rithel. Every morning, I clean, I cook, then I set the table, and you have to help me today too. Ah, oh, but it's like so early in the morning. It's like six fifty. A.m. I'm so tired to do this. I'm too tired. Well, as long as you live under this roof, you have to help out with the chores, young lady. We all have to contribute something to this house. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll definitely help Mirabel. If you need me to do anything, just holler at your girl. That's me, okay? That's the spirit, Ruthbell. Okay, now I want you to clean the table and set the tableware. We have a lot to do before everyone comes down for their morning meal. Uh, okay, fine. I'll get to work. Ah, Mirabelle, if only you had a gift. Like the gift or ability to control things with your mind. Then you can do all these things on your own in a matter of minutes. Well, I guess it would be nice to have a gift, but too bad I don't. Ah... <sighs> But what if you actually had a gift this whole time, Mirabelle? Just that you didn't know what it was because it was super secret and not that obvious? <laughs> well, but if that were true, then life would definitely be easier. Hmm, I'll definitely help you find your gift, Mirabelle. Sure, thanks. If you find it, you're a lifesaver. Now help me take out the trash in the dumpster outside. It's getting really messy here. All right, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, Mirabelle, I'll go throw the rubbish right now. Okay, I'll be right Love back. It. Time to go out. <laughs> oh, ouch! Oh, 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 my Dora, it's Abba Oma. Oh, she's so scary to me. Um, sorry, my grandchild. I bumped into you. Are, are you hurt? Um, no, I, I'm, I'm okay. Well, if you're hurt, remember to eat some of Mama Hulietta's cooking, okay? It'll heal you right up. You know, we can't have incapable people living here in the house. Everyone has to be of some help to the family. Do you understand, little Ruth Bell? Um, y yes, Abuela. <laughs> good, good. Now, where is my medicine? Hey, move it. Oh, oh, my Dora! Oh, wow, it's so scary! Oh, man, I feel so much pressure being around her! Oh, oh well, I gotta go find the garbage outside and put these boxes. Oh, no, no, where's the trash bin? Okay, I'll go right now. Okay, it must be this way. No, 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 no. Wait, uh, what, what's going on over there? Is that, is that Dolores? <laughs> doing? Oh, nothing! I, I wasn't doing anything! <laughs> What's up? Well, I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Wow, Dolores, I must say you have a really amazing recipe and sultry voice. Your voice really has a really beautiful texture to it. <laughs> but really, what were you doing out here, though? Um, no, I wasn't doing anything! Uh, oh, oh, what was that? <gasps> oh, what, 
What's going on? Did you did you see or hear something, Dolores? Uh, don't don't you see something, Rufo? Uh, what? Uh, no, no, I don't. Look closer, my child. What do you see? Look. Um, I don't no. see anything, Dolores. But you said you heard something, right? Yes, Rufo. I hear something destroying the mountains, and the person sounds like he or she must be in terrible, terrible pain. I mean, I would go over to help, but I still have to help Abuela Alma set up the engagement party for my cousin Isabella and her fiancé Mariano in the evening. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't you like Mariano though, Dolores? binoculars to have a look. over there. <laughs> I better go say hi. But, whoa! I don't even know how I got up here. Oh, it's so high up and scary. Um, okay, I mean, if Luisa is strong, I'll just climb my way down slowly like how she did. Okay! Hello? Whoa! <gasps> wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, no! The little girl! I'll go save her! I'm coming, I'm coming! I'll catch you! Whoa! <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, that was so close! Hey, little one, are you all right? Your roof fell, right? And you was one of the family? I heard Mirabelle adopted you for all of us. Oh, yeah, that's me. Wow, thanks for saving me, Louisa. No problem. It's my job to protect the family. Anyways, welcome to the family, Madrigo. <laughs> thanks, Louisa. Anyways, what on planet Beluga are you doing down here, blowing up all these mountains with your fists? You're so strong. I bet you're even stronger than Superman. <laughs> That's true of you to say. Well, Abuela asked me to destroy these mountains so that they can build some sort of tunnel road through it. Oh, I, I see. Wow, and you're doing this all on your own? You're really dependable, Louisa. <laughs> Thanks, you're so sweet. <laughs> Is that your gift, being super sweet? Uh, no, Sally, I didn't get or receive a gift. So you're like Maribel, huh? <laughs> well... I get that really sucks, but hey, having a gift or a superpower doesn't mean life is all that much easier, too, anyway. Hey, wait, what, what do you mean, Louisa? Well, because I'm super strong, my family, especially Abuela, expects so much from me, you know? Huh, really? Oh, uh, well, what, like what? Well, they always expect me to do the impossible things for them. Like, if a bridge next needs to be fixed, I have to do it. And if a truck topples over, I have to flip it over. You see, being strong also means I have to be strong all the time. Everyone counts on me to carry them on their shoulders. And sometimes, well, uh, I feel so much pressure and I, I find it hard to breathe. And even when I think about how much pressure I have... Oh, I get I get anxiety attacks. Oh no, that's horrible, Louisa. Well, haven't you told anyone about this? Like even a therapist or your family members? Uh, no way, man. They would never accept it, especially my family or Abuela. We have to appear perfect in the eyes of the public. You see, if people found out that I was mad, 
mentally weak and got anxiety, they'll look down on us and they will make Abuela really disappointed in us. So no, I can't. I must continue. Now, if you excuse me, I have to continue destroying the mountain so that our village can build a tunnel trade route for the future. Ugh, I'm gonna go and continue to do my work. <sighs> oh, Louisa, look at her. She works so hard for the family and she sounds so sad. It sounds like Luisa has a lot of pressure and she can't express it properly because she's afraid of embarrassing Abuela. Hmm. Oh, man. Well, I better head back and see if Mirabel needs help with anything. Yep, let's move on. I guess I'll go back right now. Oh, I'm back. Oh, let me go back into the house. <laughs> Ouch! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Huh? Hey, watch where you're going! Uh, I'm sorry, Umbrella Alma. Oh, I didn't mean to. Rizal, Rizal, I've been meaning to speak to you. I saw that you had spoken to Dolores, and now she looks wound up. What is this I hear of her having crush on her this fiancé of Isabella's fiancé, Mariano? Um, that's okay. not really my place to talk to you about. I mean, like, I don't want to talk about other people's problems, Umbrella. Well, that's it. Mariano is from a really good, respectable, rich family. And Isabella is my perfect little princess. I won't have anyone ruining their engagement. And I'm understood. I mean, and I understood. <gasps> oh, yes, yes, Abuela, Alma. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Abuela Alma is really terrifying. I feel kind of bad for the children here. They aren't really allowed to live their life here the way they want to unless Abuela allows them. All right, doggy. Oh, man. Anyways, I gotta go find Mirabel right now. Hmm, I wonder where Mirabel is. Yeah, I'll go find her right now. All right, let's go. Uh, hmm, where could she be? There's so many rooms over here. Uh huh. What is this room? Wow, it's so pretty. Wow. Maybe I should check all the rooms until I find her. <laughs> yeah, let's check out this room. All right, I'm going in. Oh, wow. <gasps> wow. This room is so beautiful. <gasps> huh? I wish my room were this beautiful in real life. <laughs> uh, huh? Wait, is, is that Isabella up there? <gasps> Isabella! Isabella, your boyfriend's here. Oops. Uh, I mean... Isabella, Ruth Bell's here! <laughs> Isabella, it's me! Ruth Bell, your friendly neighborhood owner, police! <laughs> uh, uh, Isabella? <laughs> Isabella! <laughs> oh, oh, it, it's you, Ruth Bell! What? Uh, no, my, my name is Ruth Bell! Yeah, that's what I said! <laughs> Uh, never mind. Well, why are you crying, Isabella? I thought you'd never cry because your life seems so perfect. Um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what? Don't be like that, Isabella. You can tell me anything. No, there's no point. Even if I tell you, there's no point. Because I don't think you can do anything about it. <laughs> What's really? But you're Isabella Madrigal! The most beautiful, the most perfect golden child in the world! There's definitely nothing you can't do! That's it! That's it! That's it! I hate being told that I'm perfect! <sighs> Everyone expects me to be able to do anything, and that there's nothing in this world that I can't do perfectly! You see, I can't handle all these expectations! Why does everyone expect me to be so perfect all the time? Why can't everyone? <laughs> Isabella! Isabella, wait! Isabella! Wait, Isabella, I'm sorry! Isabella, I, I didn't mean to put all those expectations on you. I, I didn't know you felt that way. I mean, it's because you're always looking so pretty and always smiling. I never know how you got to really feel. So, yeah, I guess that was a little bit unexpected. Um, yeah. You see, that's the real me. I can feel a bit sad, a little bit unexpected too. I'm just not an uptight doll that does as she told. I want to have my own freedom too. I want to be able to express myself too, you see, to find myself. I'm not just an uptight doll that does as she told. I want to have my freedom too. I want to be able to be myself, to find myself. I don't want to be a pretty little puppet that has to wear dresses and playhouse all the time. Oh, I see. Well, um... Isabella, I know what you can do. Huh? What? What can I do? You 
should let it out and let it go. Let it go, let it go. Let all your emotions go, Isabella. Don't be afraid to hold it in. You worry about abuela i promise i'll handle abuela alma you just be you girlfriend okay thanks ruth you're the best <gasps> did you just get my name right uh whoops uh, did, did i say your name wrong again oh i meant to say rock and boner dad uh that's not even close to my name friend but um uh okay whatever i'm gonna go find abuela and i'm gonna talk to her okay all right thank you so much okay Okay, I better go look for Abuela right now. Let's go. Oh, I gotta go talk to her right now. I'm here, I'm coming. Oh, she's right there. Um, okay, I gotta put up the courage and go talk to her, like I promised. Uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, Abuela Alma? Huh? Well, 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 is it, is it little Rippel Madrigal, the doctor child? Well, what is it now? Um, well, Abuela, I, I just wanted to say that you put too much expectations on the rest of the family. I mean, yes, I know you worked hard to raise your kids and your grandkids, but look at how much pressure you put on all of them. Don't you think they've been through enough after all of this? <clears throat> hey, kid, don't judge me. Don't you know how much I've been through? I've been through so much hardship in my life. I even went through a war. I know how hard life can be. And that's why I want my family to be perfect. And I will not let some kid that doesn't know anything about my life to tell me how to raise my family. I will control the way I want to control my family. And you are just jealous. Just like Mirabelle, always trying to stick your things into everyone's business. That's because you're jealous. <laughs> you're jealous that the rest of the family is special and have amazing gifts, and you and Mirabelle are just ordinary and not special at all. Wait, no, Abba, that's not how I feel. Abba, I, I... Oh, what's going on? Oh! Princess. She's actually really loud and kind of emotional. And worst of all, you make Mirabelle feel terrible for not being special like the others, and I know how that feels. <laughs> what? Well, you're right, Rizbel. I got so caught up in having the perfect family. <sighs> Forgot that being a family also means trusting my children to make the right decisions in life for themselves. What? The earthquake stopped. Okay, I gotta go, Rizal. Huh? Wait, Abuela, where are you going? I need to make amends, starting with the one that deserves to hear it the most. Alright, I'm gonna go now! Okay! Mirabel, Mirabel, Mirabel! What is it, Abuela? Did you feel that gigantic earthquake just now? Yes, I did! Yes, I did! But that's not why I'm here. Okay, you look out of breath. Abuela, what is it? You're, you're starting to worry me. Mirabel, I want to apologize. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, I want to apologize and say that I know I must have put a lot of expectations on you and having a perfect family. But I want you to know that you are perfect just the way you are. And it doesn't matter whether you have a gift or not because you have a gift of touching people's hearts. Just like your friend Rithel and the universe has gifted me with an amazing granddaughter like you. Oh, Abba, Alma, that means so much to me. Oh, my granddaughter. Abba, 
them. Aww, I'm glad everything is okay now. Ah, <sighs> family expectations are really hard and it's so hard to keep a family together. Okay, fam, I hope that you all know that I'll do everything in my power to make sure our family is happy and safe to share our feelings. If you ever feel burdened, feel free to reach out to the OK fam in the comment section down below. And remember, we'll always be here for you! Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and get this video a thumbs up. And if you want the next part, get this video to 25,000 likes. If you want more Kintoki content, make sure you check out this channel in the description down below. Till then, we'll see you next time. Peace, Peace out. out! Don't forget to check out our other channels for more roleplay and comedy content.